Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see configure auto labeling policies in Microsoft Purview. As you all know, we can now create auto labeling policies to automatically apply sensitivity labels to email messages or documents that contain sensitive information stored in Microsoft 365 services like OneDrive, SharePoint and Exchange Online. Now, because services rather than applications apply this labeling, you don't need to worry about what apps users have and what version. As a result, this capability is immediately available throughout the organization and suitable for labeling at scale. Now, these policies can automatically label files at rest and emails in transit based on the rules we set. Now, once they are created, policies run in simulation mode to assist you in fine tuning your auto classifications policy. Only after you are satisfied the policies are working as designed should you publish the label by creating a publishes policy. Now, we have to use certain steps to create an auto labeling policies, which is info to label, name, choose locations, policy rules, labels, policy mode and finish. Let me walk you through these steps in the portal. Let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. All right, I'm logged on to the portal. So you go to information protection, you click on auto labeling. Okay, you are here, right? So it says create auto labeling policies to automatically apply sensitivity labels. The same thing that I just mentioned. All right, you have to you need you want to read more about it just go to the microsoft documentation and read about uh, the auto labeling to a content automatically or sensitivity label it's called auto labeling protect pdfs with auto labeling turn on pdf protection for files in sharepoint online read about it that as well so you click on create auto labeling policy now choose the info you want this label applied to. It is loading the templates. Let's say I choose financial and I choose uh, UK financial data. Okay, which will help detect the presence information commonly uh, to be financial information, United Kingdom including, etc, etc. You click on next. name it will give a policy a name and a description okay because i'm creating an auto labeling policy so earlier i created a sensitivity label i deployed a lab publish policy to publish the label to a group of users okay now this is auto labeling policy which is using the already created categories per se right i'm sorry i have to do that again Next is your choose locations, name your auto labeling policy, assign admin units, choose location where you want to apply the label, exchange, SharePoint, OneDrive documents, uh, view roles and groups. Let's say I only want it for SharePoint sites. Click on next. Set up common or advanced rules. Define specific rules for each location or you define common rules uh, for all locations. I'm going with common. If you want to read more about it, go and visit Microsoft documentation and then apply as per your needs. Now define rules for content in all location. I'm going with the default. Choose a label to auto apply. Now you choose a label. What label you want to apply on this UK financial data? No, no. The label that you choose, users would see the selected sensitivity label applied to files that match the rule specified. Okay. You want to apply highly confidential or confidential anyone. Let's say I go with highly confidential. Next.
decide if you want to test out the policy now or later i want to test it out now so it's a better uh, way to run this in the simulation mode to help you determine whether the label will be applied to the correct items you will need to run the policy in simulation mode before turning it it on right so either you run the policy in the simulation mode or you leave the policy turned off okay now if you click on next now this is the place where you would see for review or finish so this is the last one last opportunity to review and edit your settings before submission unlike auto labeling for office apps there is no separate publish option okay so you will have to allow up to 24 hours for the auto labeling policy to replicate throughout the organization click on create policy it will take its time and it will create the policy audit log search is turned on copy diagnostic confirmation audit log search is turned on i don't know what does that mean let me try that again i got this error i need to work on it but if it's your production data you make sure to work on that error okay i hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day